Welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. I just got an envelope in the mail today, and when we see an envelope like this, we know exactly what this is. It's time to open the Grim Workshop Tool of the Month Club. So if you're not familiar with the Grim Workshop Tool of the Month Club, every month for $20, including shipping, you are going to get a flat envelope like this in the mail. And this is going to have any of the Grim cards. It could have the full-size cards, the roundabouts, the dog tag tools, the micro tools. Some of Grimm's accessories are in here. There's some tip cards in here. There's usually discounts as well. This is something I always look forward to. And if you're interested, I am a Grimm affiliate. So go ahead and look in the description box. You'll find my affiliate code. Head over there and use it. And when you want to see what the Tool of the Month Club is, it's going to be right here first. You don't necessarily have to pre-order this and sign up ahead of time. And if you don't pay 15 days in advance, you can't get it. You can watch this video on the 1st of September. This is September's Tool of the Month Club. And if you like it, you can order it. If yours ships out on September 7th, then each sequential month, the 7th of that month is when you're going to get your new box. So by all means, if you see my unboxing here or my opening up of this Tool of the Month Club and you don't like it, you can cancel. And if you like it, you're going to have a heck of a value when you open these up. These are well worth the $20 cost of the envelopes. So this has not been opened yet. I have no idea what's in here. It's a surprise to me, just as it is to you. And traditionally, I cut these videos just to keep them as short as possible. Let's try to run this straight through today. So first thing I pull out of here, there's always a card. And the card goes over everything that's included in the envelope and there's a coupon code as well so the coupon code this month is buy one get one of the magnesium dog tag tool so I could read over what's in here I'm not going to I'm just gonna dive in and see so the first thing I pull out this is the bushcraft card so this was actually the first grim card I ever bought and I just figured I'd give it a try, and I use the heck out of this thing. I've got videos on my channel where I baton this little knife through through a good-sized piece of wood. I actually got it stuck and had to get it out of there, but the knife came out in one piece, no issues. I used the knife to skin a deer as well, and the arrowhead joins together. And actually, I got it right here. Hold on. So this is the same arrowhead. So one section joins into the next, and it kind of makes a broadhead, like a four-bladed broadhead. And you see hair, <laughs> hair and gunk on this one. This one was hafted to an arrow, and this one has taken game. So that's why I never disassembled it. I just kind of kept it out here on my bench. But the bushcraft card is awesome. I really like this one. It's got hooks. It's got needles. It's got uh, a saw on the back of the knife. If you don't have a Grim card yet, this is a really good one to start with. So next thing I'm seeing in here this is the Grim Gig Dog Tag Tool. So this is not one I have. I've never used this one yet. So this is going to be actually two different pieces. If I can get it open. So it looks like one, but when you take the, the head out, the inside of it is, is gigged as well, or is barbed as well. So I've got a chain, and I've got a dog tag silencer, and you see here I've got a set of double hooks, and you can see real obviously the arrowhead, and you could use that as a spearhead for smaller animals. You could half that to an antlatl, but I just want to point this out, it's not always real obvious. So when you take a new tool out, the tool retention system holds it in and when you put it back in for the sequential times. But the first time there's a little metal tabs. And let me get that started here. So 
So here we can see those little metal tabs. So the first time you take it out, you've got to kind of bend and break through the tabs. So this is kind of hidden. So we saw, we saw the arrowhead or the spear tip, but this is the gig. And that's not overly large. That is maybe an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. So you're not going to have too big an opening where you're actually going to bridge frogs. This would actually even stab a decent sized snake with this thing. And then once you get it inside this little death area, it ain't coming out. So it's going to push through. If you were to miss with one of the gig points, got it inside. See, my finger won't even go through there. The barbs are going to catch it. And then it's hafted here, or you've got indentation so you can half this. These gig points are pretty cool. I'm going to be going over a lot of the, the gig options in the future. And there's a few more things in here. So the Grim business card, this holds line as well. So I carry line when I'm fishing. When I make a micro fishing kit, I usually use the indentations here. I find it's more convenient to use than the cards that feature indentations on there. And there's a couple of tip cards. Now the tip cards go over, some of it's pretty basic information, but some of it's pretty darn detailed too. So it's good to have this with you. This is similar to a playing card. And the finish is about like a playing card too, so it's kind of waterproof. So if you have a survival library and you don't necessarily want to take those books out into the field and practice with it, that's where these tip cards come in handy. You can just carry these with you when you're out on your day's adventure and work on a new skill. And once you've mastered that, this is a great thing to pass on to other people. So this one is not tying. This is the Alpine Butterfly Bend. So that's a great way to join two knots together. So the first part of it, the front page, is, is kind of pictorial. And then it's usually got more detail on the back. And there's a second one on here. And this is how to dress a bird, which is about perfect because we're just a few days from dove season. So again, we've got just pictures for a 10-second uh, a glance if there was something you were questioning. And then on the back side, you go into a lot more detail with this. So these tip cards, uh, even if you know this information, it's good to have with you. But it's great once you learn this just to pass this on to a younger person or somebody that hasn't quite had the field experience that you've had. So when you go over this, again, this was $20 and that included shipping. So the Bushcraft card was $19.99. The dog tag tool was $9.50. And then it was a dollar and 85 cents for each of the two tip cards. Now traditionally when I do my cut in videos, I'll add all that up. I'm not doing that math in my head. So heck of a value. I will post it right up here in the screen because I will use a calculator and make sure I get it correct. But it's always a great value. Uh, the Bushcraft card is one of my favorite cards. That is kind of like the one that got me started with the whole Grim thing that I'm doing. And it's got it's got usable tools on it. Like I said, I've used that skinning type blade to remove the hide off a white tail. It's got those great curved sewing needles and a couple different size fishing hooks. And that arrowhead has taken game before. So it is pretty slick. But I definitely, definitely suggest you check this out. This, again, this video here is going to go up on September 1. So you're going to be able to get this envelope the entire month of September. So if you like it, if you're watching this and it's two weeks in and you really like it and you go ahead and buy, use my affiliate link, you're going to get the same envelope I've got. And if you don't like the next one I'm doing, just go ahead and cancel it or pause your subscription until the next video. You're always going to find the current video right here on this channel. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon.